Yes, are you planning something good or is this a your maximum plan to destroy the universe again? I uh, know. I uh, know. Believe me not. I don't believe it. You said believe or not. I choose not to believe it then. I know. What do you believe? I believe that you found the one piece and you keep hoarding it for the rest of us. Yeah, this is the only we're going to talk about. The one piece. Well, the thing is, uh, Teresa hasn't seen it yet, the live action one. Have you even seen the anime, Teresa? I've seen the beginning of the episodes when it was airing on Cheese TV. Uh, so, it's a no, bad no. sense of version, okay? That, that's the one, that's the four kids one. It's that's what I just said. Why are you paying attention? I said the sense of bad version. Yeah. You know how bad it was, right, Teresa? Yeah, yeah, I know. He had lollipops instead of the cigarette. Yeah, that's actually think. the last terrible part of it. They delete an entire arc that made a plot hole for no reason at all. Not even for sense for yeah, because it's to make it PG, just delete because they were just lazy. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. also and also the music. Green man. Gyro, gyro, trap cell for one piece. That's not too bad. Yeah. It's gonna be king of the pirate of the grand line. <laughs> So you got to clock nine, at least, in terms of the plot, at the very least. Yeah, I think, I think I'm familiar. I'm familiar enough. But yeah, I, I saw some of the, the episodes of the live action. Because, oh, you know, everybody's been talking about it. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so yeah, I enjoyed it so far. I've seen the only six episodes of the live action. You? Yeah. I, I think it's good. I mean... In when I first heard that they were gonna do anime and like a live action adaptation, I was admittedly very skeptical because for one, um, Western adaptations of animes have never had a good track history, and also One Piece itself is very exaggerated in terms of its art style. I don't even know if the, I don't know how it was gonna do, but at the very least, it does look as though the creators actually care about like the source material. And they did the best with in terms of like casting, creating the characters. So, yeah, I think they did a good job. Yeah, my reaction. Here's here's my reaction. Live action anime was bad. They're trying to so hard. It's so bad. But when I look at the trailer of the One Piece, I'm thinking uh, it's gonna be bad. It's it's gonna be bad. I feel skipper to watch it. Until the news, an article saying it's good and great. Even it said about the uh, the One Piece beat Stranger Things. I was like, what? Oh, what? I was like, okay, fine. I'm I'm watching it. They yes, ain't watching because someone else told you so. Sheep. <laughs> that's not cheap. Yeah, you guess <laughs> for hours because they told you so. Therese, you got that reference? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. You just anyway, said, if I did it, I'll lose their respect. <laughs> anyway, it's great. One piece is great. Oh. This, is, this is the best one. Yeah. Do you, is there a favorite episode? Favorite character? Well, Belima, well, they all they all great casting. That's that's the thing. All the great casting. The best characters would be the Manhawk. Min Ho was Min Hawk or so? I mean, Jimmy. I think it's... I, I think you know this. What the one with the axe hand? The with the sword. The one with the, the Zorro? sword. No, not Zoro. The... Oh, Mo Mohawk. Yes. Yeah. Mohawk. The one that sword fire that Zoro wants to be, but it got owned. Yeah. You know that one. This guy's great. Yes, he was, and also I don't know how they changed that. He's the one that did beats the main bad guy, the cattle guy from the anime, like he just defeats him and stuff, you know, having Luffy beam. Yeah. Whoa. Are you are you guys? Yeah, no, I'm just seeing if there's anything else that you can add, um, Andrew, because it was your idea. Yes. Okay, if you haven't paid, I'm going to change your picture. Let's talk. Well, what's your idea? No, 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 no. I'm just saying if you want to expand expand on it i mean at the moment they're going i mean because well we'll see how it goes i mean i think the first season has come out they're actually thinking of doing 12 seasons for this 
I don't. Who knows how long? How long it's gonna go for? Uh, twelve season. It's depended the manga because the guy he is doing the very long, very long manga. Yeah. Yes, he's still going right now. They have and one thousand episodes of anime, and he's still writing once a week. Okay, I don't know how it's not burnt out yet. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much dedication. Like, yeah, the second longest is Naruto than Dragon Ball. Mm. Like, I, I actually can't be sick. I just, I just, there's a detective one. I think that went for a long time as well. But and yeah, don't detective mind. Bit, uh, don't he's had to do that, you know, action stuff. Yeah. Dorimon's the longest one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think you don't know how you don't, you haven't seen it. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen it. I mean, I know enough about the story storyline. It's just, I mean, the, one of the reasons why I didn't actually can continue the anime is just because it wasn't it, it just kept going and then also because it wasn't on gcv or anything a- anymore so i mean at the very least it's good to get GCV I mean, exists by the time in the end as well yeah but at the very least oh. it's a good introduction to get people into it in, into it again so yeah. so where does the episode the season finish is it still in the Alabaster arc or it's when they beat that sea guy? I've got his name, all gone or something. Oh, John, I've got the guy, the guy that gets win fish guy. That's when, and you have to help Nami. By the way, this is about spoilers, but you know, when she be Ted said she's backstabbing it, but she's still uh, the treasure hunt to pay off the debt. Oh, uh, I see. So it's in, in there, so it's like the very, very beginning. I wasn't quite sure how much they were going to try and fit in into like one season. That's it, it, actually quite a bit. They actually did a lot. Also, the one thing that I like that they changed is they actually all stop and the girl, uh, yeah, they kiss. I actually kind of like that, that she's they into each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, romantic. That, that, that would be great. Uh, also, yeah. Also, the, there's one thing they did. Also, that this is this life actually based on manga, not anime. In um, you know the Sanji boss. What's the what's the Sanji boss name? Um. What's the Sanji boss chef name? Uh, let's see. Let me look that up now. I think his name is uh Sush- Zif Shikel Zif and the Sushi Barati. Shishi Barati. Yeah. Okay, so in Shishi Bar- Okay, so usually in the manga, uh, why he lost his leg. So in the manga, usually he ate his leg because he. Um, it survived because he's being survived by an island. Yeah. In the anime, they they lost they pull an anchor they pull an anchor out. Uh, because of lost. I think it's, if if how did, I think he lost the leg on anime because he pulled a pulled an anchor in the ocean mm. yeah. trying to rescue Sanji. Uh, Sanji. But in the uh, live action, they 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 eat the leg, so they did follow the manga. Mm. Yes, I feel like what's the point that that's the point of pointing that out that every anime somehow has different with it, it puts it makes it better or makes it worse. I think you should elaborate on that for your opinion. Yeah, I think the uh, manga is the best. They, they because the direct all the director they always follow manga, not anime. Manga is mostly the best. Well, okay, do you get elaborate why you always think the manga is better because? Like sometimes I do think it's better and stuff, but in this case, why do you think it's better? Huh? Well, um, that's a good question. I only watch anime, but I never read the manga. Uh oh. Better Uh-oh. than you read the manga. These still say things are better we don't, about watching it. It's Uh-oh. like the Barbie movie. You keep talking about Barbie, <laughs> we didn't even watch it yet. <laughs> we have a we have a beast mode on Jimmy. We have a beast mode. <laughs> like I actually read the manga and watched a bit of the anime. Like I didn't read all of the manga, but I, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> you, you got a you got a you got a great beast mode style. <laughs> Are you talking about Gohan beast mode or are you talking about a different beast mode? Beast mode is like a god, god damn, god damn it, you didn't win them, god damn it. It's like you got yes. <laughs> All right. So what what well that's my opinion. What what you like to talk about it? Okay, I'll just talk about like yeah, 
The manga usually is my best to go because one, you can read at your own pace and I tend to read fast while the anime feels more dra drag out. And sometimes, sometimes the drag out is actually good, but sometimes it's not bad. And I'm just to mention some action scenes the way they do in anime. When it's faithful to fame, it's usually good, but when they add extra stuff, it tends to drag on it or makes it look a bit bad. Like Dragon Ball, like on Dragon Ball Z, there's so much filler as well. Like, Dragon Ball Z has like over 100 episodes of filler. Kai reduced that. No, Rino, oh my gosh, over two, over 300 filler episodes, I think. I forgot. It was just. So and long. don't forget uh, the Naruto Sun. Um, I haven't Bur watched that yet, so play, yeah. I just read the manga, ironically enough, for that. And apparently, it's a lot shorter because of that. But yeah, uh, let's mention it's like so much filler. Yeah, but in terms of the. You know, carp the anchor or if you ate your own food. It makes it more believable. Well, after us, I don't think I don't know how anyone survived eight days without food. Like for a while, I don't know how that happened at all and everything of that. But uh but eating your leg, like when you die of dehydration, how did you even eat your leg? But yeah, that again, okay, this is a world where Sora keeps getting stabbed and still lives. So who knows? Yeah, that's the thing. But I think, of course, look, the live action feels more like a complimentary material and they give you enough time to stay if you didn't do it. But as I said, someone pointed out it goes pretty fast when I mean, it squeezes a lot of bit. So some moments do feel a lot quicker because I remember the anime and the manga, the bit where they starved to death, it felt so much longer. Like they, they did emotions and, you know, hope you think they add more stuff. But in the live action, it's a bit quick. It was quicker. It's a bit quick. Yeah, well, it's, it's a bit bad and how quick it does because I said if you already seen it, you don't want to read see the whole thing again. Yeah, I agree. With yeah. That. It's a bit rushed, but they got the mess. But the movie has got a lot of message, and the fighting was pretty good, and all things are great. I just love they kept Luffy like imagine making him still like an idiot, but more of a believable idiot compared to the anime and manga because they say it works well in anime world where. And yes, he gets so far, but on this one, he's still like not that stupid. He's a bit naive and stuff, but nowhere near as incredibly stupid as it is in the manga anime. I just laugh, laugh laughing at his logic, but still more believable logic. Yeah, uh, yeah, for, for some reason, yeah, in a, yeah, anime with the, the Luffy was such a bit annoying, but I, I have fun to watch it, I have fun to watch these characters. But the uh, Luffy one in live action, less. It's not too much annoyed, but it's a good character. Good good choice actor. Yep. I just love the bit where he's like focused on the dream stuff. Like when he's more about following the dream and stuff. When he told us like he had joined the Navy and stuff, he managed to keep that intact. And I feel like, yep, it just makes it feel that's what a good Luffy does, like a good captain is. You can find it more believable and stuff. Like also the bit like, yeah. You know, uh, pirates, pirates don't do that. I'm a different kind of pirate, like the way he executes that. Because, like, he didn't really, I feel like he doesn't even know why, you know, he's just following Shanks' version of a pirate to follow what anyone else does. But yeah. yeah. And not to mention a bit where he beat the uh, butler of the way he is in the live action. It was just a decent fight as well. I said the hard part was doing the action scenes, but I think they do it somewhat sparingly that. It still works in a believable way. Although I don't know how the heck he beat someone with fast motion, but uh but yeah, that was also a night bit where I was like, whoa, that bit the butler fight as well. Like it was more tense because of live action. Because you feel like that he could just kill them right away if he wants to. Yeah. The, the clown on one I felt yeah. well, the clown one always felt over the top, regardless, and yeah. how they won unbelievable. But a live action did kind of remind me of Joker. The the clown ones kind of remind me of Joker. The yeah. like hit hitch ledger. Nah, he Ledger, seriously. Like, he Ledger was too realistic to be mm. like, like that. Yeah. And speaking of Butler, in, in the anime version, they, they bring they bring all the army, they bring all the army to stop the, to stop the, uh, the uh, I think they stopped the, to stop the village one, and they're having a fight scene the, between Zoro, oh, wait, they're not fighting, uh, Luffy fighting with the, the Butler. But in the live action, well, they, the they in the house. Yes. They turn into like a uh turn into like a slasher, like a uh, like a Halloween slasher. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So what happens to Buggy? I think this remind me. 
because I know he even... actually where it changes a bit. Like I think the anime thing, he was he's captured by a navy, but this one, Along actually gets him, uses his head to find the gang and stuff. And then at the episode after they use the buggy's head to find Lammy to give a reason how they found him in the first place. Uh, okay. Right. So, so how was the CGI? You think? Well, I like it. It feels cartoony as well, but it makes it suits it. It feels yeah, a bit too cartoony, but yeah, I agree with it. I'll go with uh, Jimmy. Yeah, you know, you know, in Pirate Caribbean, if you watch Pirate Caribbean, you make more look cool. But yeah, but uh, well, it's it's getting good, but it's better now. You know, I'm a fan of the practical effects. Hmm. Well, I mean, CGI it depends on how it's used. And there was no way to bite it for, for this anime just because of oh, the way the One Piece is. So uh, it was okay from, from what I saw. Well, so, and they had to just to make the stretching, you know, especially for Luffy. Yeah, Luffy. Oh. What do you mean? What do you mean stretching to be Luffy? No, stretching when he, when he stretches. Oh, like you knew, you no, I mean, you can rubber, the rubber yeah. boy. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like, well, how else were they going to do it? Practical would have just been too complicated, I think. Yeah. Is that? Here's a question. Here's a question. It's Luffy. It's not like Jimmy. It's not like Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could sound like that, but no, no. At least not the live action one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, yeah, why don't we talk about yeah to extend the six in terms of live actions? Which one's the best live action of adaptation of anime or otherwise you ever seen besides One Piece? So you think it's a good live action version or something? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, uh, that's Scott a good Pilgrim question. versus the world. Sorry? Scott, Scott Pilgrim versus the world is one of the best because no, I don't think anyone even read the comic book, did they? Did anyone read the comic book? I've seen a few oh, panels on Facebook, but not really. Watch a movie. Oh yeah, the, the movie's way better than the comic book. Because Scott Pilgrim in the comic book is even a bigger jerk than he is in the movie. They changed uh, a lot of things. Like Evil Scott, but um, the Evil Meta Scott was actually a lot longer for mm. starters. But yeah, and not to mention Char, uh, Chow is just you know better adapted. And there's some things that you know they had to cut out, like the fact that Wally can make every straight guy turn gay. Power. Oh, okay. Because remember, yeah. they make a one reference where it's like he and your gay friend, and you see her boyfriend kissing Wally. It's like, again, that's the only reference you get to that. Mm. But yeah, <laughs> in the comic book, it's more expanded upon that. She never gets a boy, if she gets a boyfriend, she'll never bring him around Wally ever again. Because Wally keeps seducing her, um, you know, her boy, her boyfriends. Mm. I think the best are live action. I think the the even live action ga- game and uh, mo- movie is getting improved better. Super Mario movie better. Pokemon. Pokemon better. Well, Pokemon okay. the picture was technically based on the thing, but it's completely different. Oh wait, Last of Us is the live action. Is it yeah, getting? Yeah, sounds good. It's better now. Look like Hollywood learned a lesson. Almost. Oh, no, my gosh, just not saying Hollywood, just say the companies, because not every company is Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood yeah. just just um, milking the money. Well, we'll see. Yes. I mean, one, yeah. yeah, well, one of my favorite adaptations is actually Death Note, at least the Japanese, the Japanese movies. Yeah. I thought that was pretty, pretty decent. Yes. Oh, no, the best version is the Simpsons one. To that's, that's true. Death Note. Yeah. 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 That was that was cool. I mean, the fact that they even got like the anim- the animators is is a nice touch. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of speaking Mario, how can you forget about him? Because I feel like it's not live action; it's CGI. I know. Uh, how can we forget about him? Uh we are we didn't forget him. He had a good life, and he's still touring around. I don't feel, yeah. I, don't, I feel sad for him. He looks happy enough. Huh. Well, but, we we grew we grew up on Mario. We grew up watching playing Mario with the with this lovely voice. 
what are you, what are you, what are you so sad, Mister? He's he's crying. I think Jimmy crying. I uh, no, I'm just like, man, I forget what kind of person you are, Andrew. This is what happens when you do it once a month. Now you're just like, I feel like I'm. You're. Oh wait, let's see. I'm Mister Best, and you're Homer Simpson. We're both incompatible with this. I feel like, you know, I'm trying to tell you something, and your mind's thinking, is he hitting on me? I'm trying to bribe you, you idiot! And you're like, <laughs> nope, you're hitting on me. Runs away. <laughs> oh, we, we look like you and me, we turn to free stooges. Well, well, into, or oh, bad boy, bad boy movie. Uh-huh. Asian version. <laughs> that would be interesting to watch. So yeah, yes. I'm just trying to think other live action adaptations. Um, let's see. I guess the last of us people have been saying good things, despite the differences with with the game. Game is all. need to do it. A lot of people wanted to change for sexual, especially for the Last of Us um two, because you know what happens to the Last of Us two, right? Among other things, yeah. I know the story. Yeah, well, that the Joe dies in number two. Anyone hates that? Yeah. Don't, but I hope they'll change that. Obviously. Mm. Yeah. They probably will. Then they have to bring in Abby. We'll see if they. They, have to bring, they can bring Abby, but just like your Joe, and make about quest about revenge. But he's the one that deals more with it. Have to fight with it and try to avoid getting revenge. Mm. He used to do other ways. Yeah. But is that the see. game that uh, the part two? On the yes, yeah. I just, do you not hear the word two or are you just be taking I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Your voice is so low. It's like oh, um, it's low. <laughs> huh? You want me to go louder, huh? <laughs> yeah, Abby. They everyone complaining about that game. Uh, they want to play Abby, and then they play this time, and there's some sign, and all people complaining about that scene. Everyone shocking they're having sex with the Abby. That's a scene. John, you think being married will make you less perverted, not more? Stop <laughs> making me look less normal, Andrew. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, the, the infamous you... scene. Uh, infamous. In the infamous scene, because I've heard of it too. Yes, infamous is way it's well known, but it's not liked. Mm. Like yeah, everyone hates it. Yeah. So yeah, let's see our live actions. Let's see. Well, technically, every Marvel film was a live adaptation of a comic book. So yeah, and DC Batman as well. There's another. There's another live action with anime this year. There's no. There's an anime. The guy from the Zoro player from the, what's the guy from Zoro movie? That was a good one. What's the What's the guy? The king of. He he he's what I don't know what the movie went live action. It, it, it was bomb. It was the critics sucks. The critics say it sucks and and the movie's bomb. Uh, I forgot the what the movie called. The Andrew Ewan show. No, that's no Andrew Ewan show. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want to die ever happened? You made a movie. It sucks so bad. You don't want to pretend it never existed. Gotcha. All right, Maria, can you turn on? I'm not Maria. I'm coming to East. <laughs> Can you turn on a Sherry? Can yeah, on it's on. It's on. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maria actually watches our video. He, she commented on that. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Maria. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Jimmy want to marry you. Okay. One, she's already married. <laughs> Two, what makes you... Like, you know... Just... Okay. This is a movie. Okay, Knights of the Zodiac. So that's the adaptation. Zodiac, the guy from uh, One Piece, the play Zoro. Yeah, Macan, you he's in there. <laughs> yeah, but the move, but this movie's so bomb, and it's the critic was so negative. Well, where's it? Where's it? Oh, okay. Oh, um, I have oh, not okay. seen that movie. I have not seen it. What? I don't know why the so, movie's so bad. And well, he's playing in Japanese. Yeah. Well, maybe the maybe that that wasn't enough to save it. Huh. Okay then. All right, then I'll stop sharing. All right. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, that was recent adaptation. Um. 
There's also Mortal Kombat. I don't yeah, know if you but... guys prefer the... I mean, that's happened yeah. since 1995. But there was a recent version that came out in 2020. So yeah, there's, so there's that. That's, that's 2021. 2021. I'm staying. And yeah, this is the best one. This is they added with good blood and gore. Mm. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so, yeah. In, yeah, unlike the other one because in uh, unlike the 1905 because they put like PG or like M15 plus or in America called PG 13. Mm -hmm. They they want they want to make a more classic martial art, and parent complained about the uh, blood and gore. That's okay. from the white. That's from the white people. Okay, so I guess yeah. the age has changed. They try to claim that Asians are never, um, you know, that picky about violence. I don't think you, know, <laughs> yeah. Asians, that would be happy with us watching violent stuff. I mean, wait, wait unless you were different, Therese, Were you allowed to watch violent stuff as a kid? No, uh, not really. I'm about him. Yeah. Did the parents have said about did the parents said about uh you do not you do not watch Asian you don't watch violent movie and no more Jackie Chan movie just watch out. Well they're okay with Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan's <laughs> fine because it's much more comedic. So yeah. it depends on tone. Well Bruce Lee. Um let's see, Bruce Lee, it depends. Cause I, I, I think I kind of watched that later. That was kind of more with friends that my parents never ended up Bruce seeing what we saw. Really violent to some of them. Yeah. I think that came better. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. Ooh. What are you what are you okay. doing, Jimmy? I'm just looking at my looking for the death notes so I can write your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's up there. Okay, I'll just look I'll look for the death tone. Death tone? What? The Simpsons one. Jeez. I don't think you've seen it. I have not seen it. Please. I have not seen the Halloween one, so. You should. Yeah, that was. Well, oh, we, yeah. That can be the topic. And um, we've got none of We can talk about that in the next video. It's all about meta. Or about, you know, in, seri in series references. And if that works. Uh, it depends on, say, Rick and Moist and Master of that. But yeah. yeah. Oh, did you see the bit where um Christopher Lloyd did a live action bit for Rick and Morty? Oh, with Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah, seen that one. Yeah, it's, it was so funny and clever. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I mean, hmm. but you say live actions. The benefit of live action is when you have good actors making the scene feel even more emotional. You can do that with CGI, but it takes a bit more effort to do so, and. You know, the reason thing about real people, though, is that you have the more human experience. It feels like it can actually happen to you when it's real people. That's one advantage of having real people. Because, yeah. And, yeah, when it's more pra well, practical effects are probably hard. But nowadays, look, I think we as humans can't really appreciate how hard it is to make a fight scene until we do it ourselves. And we don't care too much about realistic. It just has to feel like we're immersive. Like, over the top, is like, okay, The Hobbit. The Hobbit fights were not really that good. But Lord of the Rings, even though it was less over the top, it felt more emotional. I think someone said that a good fight scene is not about the actual fight. It's about the emotion and story that comes with it that gives out. Mm. Okay. Like, you describe the fight scenes in Transformers. Does Aaron remember anything? Mm. You mean the Michael Bay version? Yes, obviously. Like I'm doing that as an example. What do you remember? What any fight scenes? Any fight scenes I actually do remember is when he shoved a box to Metrotron. That's the only thing I can remember. All the bit where like they had dialogue so they like, choose to fight the humans or something. Or you know, in Dragon Ball Z, do you remember much fights or do you just remember the spirit bomb and him turning Super Saiyan? Or do you remember like, how what punch and kicks they did? Or, or the Dragon Ball, or the turn white people play like Gohan. Does it work like that? No. But that's one of the reasons why One Piece probably works is because they're meant to be like from other places in the world anyway. Yeah. 
I said, yeah. I mentioned I said like the locations were well, like the bone. I was surprised how they got some of the creatures ate like yeah, the was it makeup? It's probably makeup they did. That was actually well done. Was like you know all the other species they were doing it. That was actually well done. It actually made you feel like they you know did the place like that. And then there's I don't know, just a little bit of things that you can actually just appreciate. Oh, the clown pie as well. Like with the tent, it does feel like all the people are changed. Forced to clap, and Buggy is like trying to be like really scary that way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. He's another like, best live action uh anime. Kenshin. Oh yeah, apparently that's good. I haven't watched it yet. You got Netflix? Yes, but I have. I don't have unlimited time, which I don't know how you have unlimited time when you have a kid and a job at the same time. Are you a bad father, Andrew, or what? Why you said that one? That's so cruel. You are very cruel. You are very cruel, man. You are very... I am a good father, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm not... I'm not a bad father. How do you have time to watch all this stuff? Tell me, what's your secret? Do you watch it with your son or something? Well, today, now, my son is sleeping, and I'm watching I'm watching on this all the time. Even doing you homework. Watch... I'm doing homework, I, I watch it. This is better eight. How old is he now? Why? What? Oh, I only watch two days because I can't handle. I don't really watch too much, like oh, like an one hour or two hour. Uh huh. What do you do? Just play game? No, just sleep because I'm too tired. The whole point of being tired, you're like, okay, my son's asleep. Now I'm tired. Go to bed myself. <laughs> I'm like that with my nephew. Okay, I'm just like, oh, I need sleep sometimes when he takes a nap. All right, we got five minutes. Will you want to come back again? Okay, we shall. Okay. We shall end it here. Yeah, we'll be right back after this break. After Jimmy doing the, the silly thing. So back on topic. So in why Andrew to... sucks? That's the topic we were talking about. Oh great, now thank he, you. How he doesn't <laughs> read the stuff that he critics. Like he just he says about the mangas better. I doesn't read it. <laughs> he talks about the Barbie movie when he hasn't seen it. I'm not Have you watched Barbie. The Simpsons at all? No, uh, I have not seen the Death no Notes at Simpson. You were complaining about how there was no couch gag in that entire season, and it turns out you didn't even watch the series episodes before. Bye. Have you watched well, a Queen Vi? <laughs> yes, I watched most of the episodes of the latest season. I didn't care about the couch, couch gags as much as you do. <laughs> I think they ran out of ideas. They ran out of ideas to force it. Oh no. Like if I complain about some of the DC stuff, I actually mostly seen it. Well, you know, I like, to, like the sax slides kind of like, oh my gosh, because this has a masterpiece. No, it's not. It's so long. But yeah, anyway. We'll just get back to the about live actions and stuff like the manga and stuff. Like I said, I pretty much stopped reading the manga or watch the anime at the time skip. Because the author said that, yeah, I'm going to finish it soon. So I figured I'll wait till he finishes before I read the whole thing at once. Clearly, the author changed his mind and kept going and going and going. And going. Oh, yeah, look. Do you know that Dra how Dragon Ball Super came about? It came about because Dragon Ball Evolution was so bad, Akira yeah. Toriyama said, no, I do not want people thinking the last good Dragon Ball thing was Dragon Ball Evolution. I'm going to make my own series. Continue on that. Well, let's hope that Netflix will do a, a, a live action of Dragon Ball. Look, uh... Okay, look, the best results is they get the authors involved because clearly Cowboy Bebop did badly when they did that, right? Yeah. That meant yeah, what that. else did they do? I just remember everyone hated Cowboy Bebop. Did they, did they do anything else? Hmm. There's nothing they did. Mm. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, let's see. I think Maybe they did kidding. do someone did Death Note. Oh no yes it did did Death Note. I don't mind for why it is, but I can see why people are angry about it. Because they tried to do something completely different. Is it the American yes. version? Is it the American what? version or the Japanese? Yes, Death Note. Yes, it's everyone hates it. I I find it okay-ish, but they make it more like a horror film, and not to mention 
um, Light himself is not the real mastermind till the very end because he actually doesn't want to kill cops and stuff. And he's one of those geniuses, but a naive genius that's not very practical at first. But he gets beat up by bullies. And because he tries to use the you know, psychology, he read a book to avoid getting beat up, did not work out well for him. Mm. And then he's basically his girlfriend that's the psychopath in that one. And not to mention, it's a bit, it L's a bit weird in that one. So, yeah. But yeah, except for why, and the best part was the Shigami. It was voiced by the person who does the Green Goblin in Spider Man. William Defoe, I think. His name is. Uh, yes. Yeah, he was the Shinigami. He did a really good. Uh, that was the best yeah. part of that. He would be a good, good Shinigami. Yeah. So, and this, uh, yeah. yeah, the way he did the humans are interesting. That's his best one of the lines he delivered really well. Mm. And not to mention though, like in the the ending was kind of interesting because in in the ending of the American version, it never happens again anyway because it's got I think it got cancelled, but. Um, his dad finds out about him and he's like, I worked it out a while ago when our mother's killer was killed. Because, yeah, in the American version, they, his mom died and the person got away with it. Mm. That's when the father suspected that. I did find that, you know, the manga version of the is a decade that it felt a bit weird how, you know, light. They suspected a lot, but his family was so believing in him and stuff. It just felt kind of, yeah. Like, yeah, how light, you know, like in both Japanese versions, like, he's supposed to be like the perfect model. Everyone loves him and stuff. I'm like, he's too perfect and in that way, and yet somehow becomes a psychopath. But then, apparently, the death note corrupts, brings the worst out of you. I know, people argue that's a death, it's a death note, like, you know, a cursed object where it makes you go bad or, you know, there's always a question of where the death note does to you. Or is it just you You always were like that but power corrupts? Either way, it's likely. Because in the manga version and some parts of the anime, light without the death note is generally a nice person. Mm. Like in the, when he loses his memories, he feels like he generally wants to be a, a good person, and the when man he touches it, he was like, like, yep, kill, kill, kill. Yeah, Central. kill, yeah, kill everyone. Yes. Did Baba just say hurt everyone? Baba, yeah. good name. Simpsons. Yep. Uh, and you're yeah, tired. Um, and you look very tired today. Yeah, well, I just, it's one of my last day of work. It's been hot, cold, hot, cold, so weather change. Yeah. But also, I've been playing Just crazy. Dance. What? what? Yes. Mm -hmm. I decided to play Just Dance because I get into the comp talk tournament with that. But let's just talk about politics of, well, making movies. The politics of making movies are always interesting to me. Like I said, I'm surprised like this is one of the few times they work with the author. Like, sometimes you can override the author because the author can be wrong when it comes to knowing what comes to what appeals to people. But generally, you should at least consult them, at least try to. Yeah. The example when they override the author was X Men, the anime series. Stanley wanted to be more childlike, they wanted to be more like the comic books. And the anime is chose to be more, yeah, eventually be more like the comic book. It did more better. Stanley was really child friendly at his old age, yeah. It's child, child, or child friendly. You mean comic? You mean comic book? Uh, that's American comic book. It's a child Stanley, friendly. Stanley, but that's an example when they when they do their own thing instead of just doing what the author said. It's like okay, now we're just going to do based on Chris Cromart run instead of Stanley's style. And Stanley's like when he did Spider Man, it was like so G rated PG. They're the one that the cycle animation one. Yeah, but yeah, they did they you know they did actually talk to Stan Lee at first to see what his opinion was. And it's good that they actually talk to that, but yeah, politics of that is like, you know, one, you do you really want to do things for the sake of doing it? Or when people love it, but then times they're too stuck to source material that 
it becomes less terrible. Like the Watchmen. Have you ever watched seen the Watchmen movie? The uh, uh the uh yeah yeah I seen Watchmen. A lot that's of, the one that's like nine percent accurate, but it's still not really that good. Okay, Remember here's that? my thought. It is my back in like nine two thousand nine. Uh, it was back. In, it was like it was all right. It was uh, okay ish, but then watch it again and again. It's like I quite enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed it, but the uh, um, yeah, I wish it did more more longer. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like that's the solution for everything. It's not long enough for Zack Snyder. Like no. <laughs> It's no, a, no, 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 no. It's a, no. It's a fact, they made the ultimate edition of that already. Did you it just adds more scenes such as more faithful, but the execution is still the problem. The problem is the acting. You're like like the like the also May is the smart guy. You read the comic book and he said, like, do you think I'm unlocking like a villain? I executed my plan five minutes ago. In the movie, it's like I did it five minutes ago, like so casually, and like I didn't feel the impact of that. Why the when you read the comic book, it doesn't feel like that. And I say not to mention some weird sexual stuff that Zack Side yeah. does sometimes. So. Yeah, not to mention like the actress, like the one who plays Light Owl's love interest. She doesn't feel like she's actually loves Light Owl at all, and Mister Manhattan stuff. Like it's just weird, awkward acting there, and the placement of scenes. And you said, not to mention I said, being one to one doesn't always work that way. I think being, being, being completely beholden to one to one also makes it hard to feel any surprises if you just do everything exactly the same. Like one piece isn't all one to one, and something you stuff to do is actually kind of nice. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think Nami and Sora had the Do I Know You drinking game. That's completely different to the live action and it's kind of more sweet that they actually talk to each other like that and of course the fact that it's not part of that it makes it more you and fresh you just adapt something one to one it's like Glacier as the Disney remakes when they just completely just remake the same thing one to one oh don't mention that oh don't well, mention now you, that's, that's an example of one to one not working so well it just feels safe and boring we need to add something that makes it feel like, you know, it's worth watching again and feel different. But yeah, what? So you really think the Watchmen, I say, are you just doing that because you just read something on the internet and agree with them? Okay, what oh. makes you think the Zack style Watchmen is better? Like, we're watching it. Give me no, more specific not... parts. Well, comic book is the best, but the, the Zack style thing is just weird. And this is. Well, it's just a bit of weird. I don't, I don't know, Ray, I don't know, Andrew. You kind of say I don't know. Alamo see this scene. I don't know. Alamo saw all the Zack Snyder, but it's a feel a little bit disappointing. Um, he just read the script and watched it. He basically said that he read David Hayter's script and stuff, but he said it was kind of close to what the thing is. But he doesn't trust. Um, Mortal Bros in DC because they screwed him of the contract because he was supposed to get the rights to Watchmen. But they found a loophole with by printing the story over and over again so that he doesn't get the rights. So he's very angry at DC so he wouldn't watch the movie. Uh, also, this animal also worships snakes, so, you know. Also, yeah. not to mention Watchmen and... It's a satire of heroes saying that heroes are a bad idea. That's why it's a turn to reality where thanks to Watchmen, the world is actually worse than it is in the same timeline without heroes. Yeah, for sure. I think I, think I agree with that. But that's why I said, like, the politics of that, I said, that's a, a support of Al Moore being that thing here. And like a lot of authors, like how kind of like the rise, they kind of get screwed over when they, you know, when the source gets adapted, they don't make as much money unless they have a good contract. So J.K. Rowling got a good contract, and that's why she's a lot rich from that. Uh, but don't mention, see, um, but don't Squid mention, Game, the person who got the one who sold the rights to, didn't get much richer from it becoming famous on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we can find like the terms of 
suits. Apparently, the one the writers who wrote the best episodes gets inconsistent revenue, but it's still pretty high based on the rewatches and stream numbers. But yeah, I just want to know the politics of making a movie. I mean, okay, wait, what? Well, the movie you make, Andrew, like you just do it by yourself or you have to work, work with people, Andrew. Can you just say, I want this scene to be good. That's what you kind of do when you describe things. I want this to be good. You expect it to be psychic. You're like, what does it mean to make it good? Just be very good. And then it's like, okay, we'll make a good scene. That's what you think directing is, right? I'm not I'm not Harvey Weinstein. Okay. Because Harvey- I don't think he does that. I feel like also it's not Harvey Weinstein, like he was a terrible person, but he did actually make decent movies. Did he? Well, the Weinstein uh, company, there's some decent stuff, I guess. That's oh you see, that's two different things. Yeah, but I was saying like Let's see, like when we're in a movie, we're discussing with different writers and talk about why it's good ideas. Mm. And not only just good ideas, but to put it into practice, see if we can actually film it. Like if I had an action scene in my head, I can imagine it well and it may write down, describe it well, but then to actually film it will probably require a lot more resources or actors making it feel lateral with fight choreography. I kind of just write punch, 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 punch. That's a, you know, choreography, right? I bet you that's what Andrew would do. Punch, glob, glob, fire, headbutt. <laughs> that would be like you. You just think, yes. I mean, imagine actually writing that fight scene in one piece. Like, I think how you describe it, like he's dreading and then dialoguing, just taunting him in a fight like that. And yeah, you can probably describe it, but then, then when you're filming it, that would take like, what, 10 shots back and forth. Right, because you probably know more about filming than anyone else, Therese. Right? Yeah. How, like any fight scenes that you've seen that, like, do you actually know how hard it will be to actually do some of those fight scenes? It's it's not easy at all. So um yeah, yeah. especially when you have weapons and swords. That's the yeah, gets you can't actually kill the opponent. No, it gets it a lot more complicated. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. So I guess gun shooting scenes are probably easier to shoot, if I guess. It's, I mean, it's the, you do require your own training because it's actually yeah, not that easy to fire a gun. We can just but do bow, 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 or yeah. down, boom, or down. Boom. Yeah. So in that in that sense, it's a lot more straightforward, which is why when they do John Wick, they integrated a lot of, you know, hub keto. In yeah, in, John Wick is yeah, John, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, did you actually read that? Yeah, Keanu Reeves wanted him more dead, and originally the ending made more. Oh, 100% guaranteed that he's dead, but they decided to make it a little bit more open ended that he might have, have a 10% chance of surviving. Uh, that makes sense. I mean, they are making a John Wick, John Wick 5, so we'll see. We'll see if it comes back and what happens after this. Because Kiara reset that this is really tiring, all the fight scenes and stuff. I have to be really hard in shape. No more, please. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Time, but yeah, I feel like he's like, yeah. He does is afraid. You got sick of right? you got sick of a John Wick fighting scene? What's wrong with that? Him doing it. He doing the fight scenes. You know, he has to be like doing this thing doing flips so easy, Andrew. Can you do a flip? Can you do somersaults? Can you do good kicks and punches easily? Because what you said? What are you saying? You fighting you got sick of so he's saying the doing it. Sick- Keanu Reeves said he got tired of doing it because he's physically tired like physically tired not boring tired all right at least it makes sense yeah physically exhausting because yes come on the just doing the start work for the six look tiring like he falling down the stairs even i wait do you think he got a start meant to do that yeah, yeah. keanu didn't do, do, do that stunt it's just well, a CGI. Imagine just falling down the stairs. Like, that, that oh, the insurance would go off the shots. Yeah, that would not be pretty. But yeah, even I mean, him running up the stairs, I think he did that himself, right? Probably, pro- I think so. Oh, running up the stairs is very exhausting, okay? Yeah, it is. And getting yeah. them attacked along the way is even more so. Yeah. Only for him to actually do it all over again. That's, yeah, that's why I was like, wow. They actually bothered to do all that filming. But yeah, 
and all those kind of things he had to do. Like he's over fifty now, right? Yes. Six, I think. Let, let me check the Keanu Reeves age. And I don't know how old is this one. Uh, maybe the Keanu Reeves age is fifty nine, almost sixty. Wow. Not so bad. Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I said, just like, you know, I guess he, like, he probably wants to do some other acting stuff that's different. Although I see he did another movie where he played a uh, person that gets invaded by two females trying to be home wreckers. That, and I read that synopsis. It was like, wow, that's disturbing. I think it's called Knock Knock or something. Oh, uh, yeah, I, remember. I think I've heard of that. Yes. Oh, it's a dark movie. And it just has a remake of something else that was also dark. Mm. I didn't even watch it, but I just re- I saw a clip of it, and like, yeah, before it gets dark, where they just pretend to be innocent, you know, people that need help. Uh, he's gonna be in this- oh Berserker. No, that's not Berserker. Although that's coming out too. They're making a live action adaptation of that. Yeah. What's what's Berserker? Um, it's not a uh, manga it's a, series that yeah. I read, but it's, it went on for a long time. And the author actually passed away, I think, right? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of action I'm looking forward to, but it hasn't come out yet. It's Milky Solid. They've been planning that for years, so they bet they're probably taking their oh, time. I know that. Me. We'll see. I mean, I which reminds me, was it Halo? They had a live action series of that, actually. Yeah. There's I think some people, people like it, some people don't. Yeah. 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 I like Sonic as well. Do you ever like the Sonic movie? After oh, they yeah, fixed yeah. it, I think the people yes. people liked it. So now yeah, it's got like three movies? Two, but the third one's in development, yes. Oh, okay, so they're up to number three. Yeah. Number two was kind of funny. But say that, but number three might not have Jim Carrey. Might not. Uh, okay. Maybe. Because they're very ambiguous whether he's dead or not. So, yeah. Yes. But, yeah, just like they... So, like, too, it's a bit weird. Some side stories that didn't go. Like, what was the point of that? But the part they did that was kind of funny. Mm. But, yeah, the one thing, of course, they just make Sonic, like, you know, a person that wants to be loved. It's just kind of adorable that way. But Sonic yeah. was never like that in the games, from memory. Not, not really. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And yeah, like I just wondering what the politics of that was as well. When they just like everyone hates it because usually some studios just tend to ignore fan backlash, right? Mm. It depends on whether or not they cut the losses or not. I mean, how far in the process they've they've made. If if they didn't make a lot of money, chances are they won't make like the, the next movies. I think that's what happened with Chronicles of Narnia, even though they're starting to. Rebooting that again, they're rebooting that too. They made two or three, they made three movies of that, didn't three, they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, I got bored after the first one because I feel like the first one was a decent ending as it is. And like, the t- I just get confused about like how timeline changes when it just one or two years and everything all goes like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm just gonna lose that. Yeah, what's the first one? Nadia, you, you don't like the first one, right? I like I mean, the first one, but it was the ending. I didn't feel like I'm to watch the second or third one because I feel like it's just random adventures from now on. Every time they go to another thing, because more than 10 years have passed or something when one year's passed or something. Okay, not to mention how the timeline works, they were there for 10 years, and when they go back, they're still kids again. And like, they, and then when time goes there, it's like a completely different world again. It's a bit weird that, yeah, how time works in this kind of universe. It's like, yeah, going through that. But yeah, um, let's check about, like, why passion to make stuff. Like I said, no one thought One Piece would be good. It took some people to say it's good to bring interest again. But yeah, 12 seasons. Let's see. Once is it, I, uh, I feel, how far do you think they'll go with 12 seasons? Is that... Not to mention that the actors will be, I say, film it all at once. The actors will probably be 10 years older each year. So they probably that's have to true. find a new assistant to be able to do 12 mm. seasons. Yeah, that's if they they don't, they want to keep the ages. Although there is a time skip in the manga. So yeah, but not that long. So it took no, two years. Two years. So yeah, they can 
afford to do so much. So I think they should film it all at once and do the editing longer. That's probably yeah. the best way to do yeah, it. Yeah, that would look more. It would probably be easier that way. Yeah, and yeah, I'm just wondering, like, how much you can do? Like, season two will probably let's see. So, so we probably won't be able to go to Crocodile at all by that point. Can it? Hmm. Let's see, I'm just trying to remember what happens to go to the grand. Oh, they have to do the reindeer. The reindeer after the doctor. That's like two, one or two episodes alone. Mm. They have to bring this VV introduced. I think they could probably theoretically go to Crocodile in season two. Probably hard. Then Nick and Robin arc in season three. Oh, no. Yes, they could do that. They did spend two episodes getting a new ship and stuff. Well, yeah, one thing they also changed is that they reveal right away that the Marine is Luffy's grandfather. Didn't oh, yeah, right grandpa. They, they put, okay, uh, first of all, let's talk about the anime and the uh, live action. Anime, you have, to, you have to wait for, like, around up to, like, 100, until, like, 800, the reveal is their grandpa. This one's a bit, the into the, they, they already reveal it. Yeah, it makes more sense in terms of like if they see each other, Lucas gonna say grandpa right away. I think the anime never saw each other face to face. That's why. That's that's it why the more... Yeah. That's why the um a manga was the guy named the manga who did One Piece? What's the guy he did offer? Eager what's the guy Teresa, what's the guy name? I think his name is Oda. Oda. Yeah, Oda. Oda. Oda hate this live action. Uh, he just didn't like some of the changes. He didn't hate it overall. Hmm. Yeah, but they actually did actually consult with him. He wished it was more and a bit longer, but he doesn't outright hate it. He just wishes it was more like what he wanted. I'll just check again. Let's, let's read the actual quote. Let me see. Let's see. Oda. Yeah. He covered the face on today. He covered the face. He, he showed the face, but he covered the face. Like. He wants privacy. His privacy. He wanted peace and quiet. Hmm. Okay, so basically, one thing he did. Uh, oh, okay, I know, I'm just reading this. Okay, fine. Just, where's my sketch? Share screen. Yep. So he's more disappointed. Yep, the character, I think. Oh, no, that's just the one piece thing. Let's see what. Okay. In the stars, time is check. Okay, here's what to say. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, he says he's quite happy. Yep. But it's not really hard to... The good, the yeah. good life picture does not show that that doesn't have to change the story too much. Well. Yep, so he didn't say anything that he hated. But yeah, he was disappointed with some changes. But he's not, you know, too angry about it. Like, he doesn't like some of the changes, but not enough to complain. Okay. I watched I watched a YouTube short. Oh, yes, I... YouTube people do not mislead you. They never give fake news, Andrew. It's I'm such a reliable you. source. Like journal articles use YouTube as a source now, Andrew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sorry, uh, like I'll... how many times like I read something? I got this on YouTube and I checked the source, like, you know, you know cite their sources, they kind of just make it up as they go along. No evidence whatsoever. Uh, I guess a uh, YouTube uh short uh pussy now. <laughs> yes, but it's, 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 we always want to do something to get clickbait. <laughs> you should know that, Andrew. Uh, I'll show you what to look like. Uh, I'll try it. I'll try to find uh, out a picture. Uh, <laughs> I know what the I don't know what the bloody heck of the YouTube's YouTube short said. What are you doing? 
Mm. Oh, wow. They actually might end One Piece soon. Yes, yeah, it says reaching near the end. He said that ages ago before, but maybe yeah. it'll finally end it now. Anyway, I'll stop sharing now. Yeah. How about it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just don't trust the internet or everything, unless, like, you know, like when I read some stuff on the internet, they always complain about the acting and, like, it's not that bad. Or when they say this acting is the best, or, like, it's not that good. I mean, you need to know to go against the flow, Andrew. Don't just trust what the mob mentality is. Mm. Yeah, I forget. Let's screw, screw the short one. We're not going to show it. And that's yeah. the I told you, YouTube is not this side. You get you might be suffering to, from the Memela effect. What's it? Is it called the Memela effect or something? Mm-hmm. It's basically when you thought Manel Nelson got assassinated when he did it, but a lot of people did think that way, right? Mm-hmm. Mandela yeah. effect. Yes. You might be suffering from that what you think might happen, but you didn't read it properly. That's why you should keep your sources like it. But when I read some stuff, I was wrong, and I checked again. Oh, I was wrong the entire time. But look, I said, you got like George R. Martin, in season one was the perfect adaptation of Game of Thrones. Well, minor things, but I was mostly happy with it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm disappeared. I'm just yeah, he wanted more me. scenes with some of the minor characters, but it's just Game of Thrones is already long with one season anyway, adapting all that. Well, yeah, like yeah. I said, don't go for one one adaptations. It just feels like it was more lazy that way at the same mm. time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, nine minutes. Okay, so we'll wrap this up. Let's wrap um, this up. Yeah. Final, final thoughts. Read the manga, Andrew. <laughs> I'm not reading manga, okay? Read it. Oh, yeah. How hey, you oopa loop. But dippity do mm. what do people used to do? They used to read. Fine, I'll read, I'll read. Do is watch TV. Sorry, Fine. I don't remember my song, but I remember. Fine, I'll read manga. Fine, I'll read manga, but I'll read I'll read a hentai manga, okay? It'll be great. <laughs> Which one? Bob <Bible laughs> Black? <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. Okay. Well, I didn't see that coming. Uh, when it comes to Andrew, actually, I did. Um, I don't anyway. know why he would pick head tear. He would just say we <laughs> want head tear. What's the difference between reading and watching at that point? And which one he says you would he says to say you read for the story, Andrew. <laughs> the bottle black has a story, it's a bit tragic actually. When you it's one of all the bad parts there. Like, anyone you ever seen Bottle Black? Um, no, I haven't. I read about it, yeah, it's, it's has all disturbing stuff there, but the story is actually kind of tragic when you think beyond that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you're laughing, Andrew, about the tragedy. You enjoy the pain that the character was in. Oh my no, God. I just enjoy you laughing out loud when you're screaming. Oh, I was a laugh. <laughs> well, you're oh screaming. my gosh. You enjoy. Yeah, well. So you don't, wait, can you even read manga, Andrew? It's, I can it's read right manga. to left, Andrew. You don't read left to right <laughs> unless they tell you to, because sometimes they just change it. Like Grandma Hub just left to right, but because they couldn't back then, they didn't do that. But most mangas now right to left. It's right to left. Look, here's a manga here. Let's see. Dragon Ball Super here. See? Volume 17. See? They go right. Oh, wait, I'm sure it's in Yeah, I can read that. I can read that, but. Then why don't you just read? Oh, there's no I'm words. Too lazy to read it. I'm, I'm too lazy to read it. Oh, lazy! And then you said the manga's better, but you're too lazy to enjoy it, huh? You're too lazy to enjoy reading. I'm not like I'm not like I'm not, I'm not into like I'm not reading too much manga because I'm not to do that nerdy stuff. And he's screaming, uh, and he's screaming like a cartoonish. The same that ring mangas nerdy, but watching the live action isn't le- nerdy. I just don't know. Do you have double think? You can think of two contradicting things at once. Yes, the answer to that is clearly yes. Yeah, yeah that's how I'm fighting for. That's how I'm fighting for. Yeah, final thoughts. Um, thank you. 
um, for people that have been watching. Hopefully that was entertaining. Do watch One Piece if you have the chance, and we shall be back next time. And let us know what you think about it in the comics. Yes, comics. in the comments, in the comments, in the comments below. Thank you guys and good night. Okay. <laughs>